Has long-term care always been an offering in your business? Uh, yes, long-term care has always been an offering in our firm from the beginning, uh, mainly because our goal has been to uh, not push one product, but build out a holistic plan for the clients. And of course, if you're building out a plan for retirement, including everything, you have you have to address the risk of long-term care. Can you talk about the support that Alicia and the team have brought to you and what it means? Yeah, easy one. Uh, I wouldn't be writing the long-term care if it wasn't for Alicia and her expertise. I mean, it's not uncommon that a client will uh, let me send me a copy of their current policy. We'll send it to Alicia just to get her advice, her opinions, and then their, her recommendations for how to move forward. So it's like anything else. You want to surround yourself with experts, then tap into their expertise so that you can give your clients the best uh, best possible advice. What would you say to other financial professionals who are not offering or are on the fence about incorporating this into their business? Okay, if you're on the fence as an advisor about whether to offer long-term care, uh, two things I would mention to you. One, you're leaving money on the table, right? You spent all your marketing dollars to bring a client in, and then you're losing the chance to get seven to $10,000 or more additional money on a, um, a need that this client has. But more important than that, I would say consider that your job as their advisor is to make sure you're addressing future roadblocks that could blow up their retirement plan. And I think the bigger issue than you leaving money on the table is this risk that down the road something happens uh, and they need significant long-term care costs coming out of their accounts and they're going to ask you why didn't you tell us we had other options. So your job is to present the options, it's the client's job to decide how important it is to take care of them. All right. And what have you learned through your journey to making uh, long-term care a regular line of business? Uh, one of the things is it uh, helps with your retention with your clients. The more different products the client has with you, the less likely they are to move somewhere else. So uh, you want to manage their annuity or manage their managed money. Uh, if they've also got their long-term care with you, you've really solidified that client long-term. Uh, the other thing I would recommend is it's a little unique, a uh, lot like life insurance, uh, but the companies are very picky uh, with, have, with respect to medical situations. So ask the medical stuff up front when someone says they're interested and take advantage of Alicia and her team's expertise so we can find out in advance if there's going to be any issues before you get all the way down the road. It's, you really don't want to spend a month or two doing this and then have a denial for something you could have addressed up front.